scientists want to use lasers to guide aliens to Earth. What could go wrong? August 15, 1977, the sound of extraterrestrials was detected for the first time by Big Ear Radio Telescope at the Ohio State University. In year 2014, the Polaris Fun was the first human-built spaceship to use an atomic-powered engine to achieve constant acceleration. The spaceship built in top secret in low Earth orbit is carrying a team of members from the Section 51 on a one-way mission in deep space. The mission is to discover the origin of the mysterious repeating radio signals. Hi everyone, what's up? I am GH AK Dose Geek. It's nice to be back here with you and Section 51. And thank you again for your support to the channel. I know I've been away for a long time, but it's because I had a lot of work besides Section 51. However, I don't forget you and I don't forget the channel. I want you to know that we are still working hard on the channel in order to give you new original videos and new content. We are still working to improve the channel and to propose you some regular content. Thank you for your patience and your loyalty. Don't forget to take a look sometime at our Facebook page Section 51. We still publish some videos and some news on Facebook. So we could build a laser that could send signals to extraterrestrial intelligence. Not we as in the staff of Section 51, and that's probably beyond our skill set, but we as in humanity. A new paper published in November 2018 in the Astrophysical Journal has found that humanity could feasibly build an infrared laser hot and bright enough that if we shined it directly at nearby exoplanets, alien astronomers should be able to detect it using sky-watching technology not too much more advanced than our own. Presuming they are out there, of course. It would have to be pretty huge, but not unthinkably so. One possible design the researchers proposed would require a 1 to 2 megawatt laser and at least a 100 foot 30 meter diameter primary mirror. James Clark, a graduate student at MIT and the lead author on the paper, said that it's not clear if aliens would immediately recognize the laser as a signal from intelligent life forms, but it would certainly attract attention. The main challenge for building an alien laser beacon is that Earth isn't alone in space. Instead, it's a relatively minor one of eight planets orbiting a star far brighter than any laser humanity could reasonably hope to produce. From the perspective of an alien astronomer, hundreds of light years away, the entirety of human civilization and any infrared source it might produce would be drowned out by the gigantic white hot source of light in our local space. The goal of the laser then wouldn't be to create a blinking beacon in the darkness for aliens to sit up and notice. Instead, it would be to make our sun look weird enough from an alien perspective to take a second look. A set of aliens scanning the sky may have noticed that our sun has planets around it, or that at least one of those planets might possibly be habitable. But that doesn't seem to be all that rare. Maybe if they are on TRAPPIST-1, which hosts the largest number of exoplanets that could conceivably have liquid water at their surface, they will have taken special notice of our system for the same reason we have taken notice of theirs. The possibility of habitable worlds a mere few dozen light years away. 
However, if we pointed a laser of this huge scale directly at those aliens while they were looking at our sun, our sun would seem to exhibit some very unusual behavior. Under normal circumstances, stars vary a bit in terms of how much light they produce, and there are patterns to that variation. A focused infrared laser though, could make our sun's light output very far more in the infrared spectrum than is normal. Instead of creating a blinking beacon in the dark, the laser would make our sun appear to be an existing light that had gone wonky. If aliens nearby detected the signal and understood its significance, it might be possible to set up a communication channel using lasers with data transfer rates of up to 2 megabits per second. That's similar to a slow modern internet connection. Of course, there would be time delays of decades between the sending and receiving of messages thanks to the speed of light. Farther away from Earth, the researchers found the laser could still be used to broadcast a more general Hey, we are here! signal detectable from up to 20,000 light years away. Of course, space is much bigger than that. A 20,000 light year signal would only reach other stars in our general region of the Milky Way. There could be some dangers to shining a super bright infrared laser into the sky. Infrared isn't visible to the human eye, but a targeted intense beam could still blind someone. As long as reasonable safety precautions to prevent anyone from looking into it were taken though, it should be fine. But the main question is, is it really a good idea to guide aliens to Earth? Sending this clear signal to the rest of the galaxy that we are here? It's achievable with modern day technology at a not impossible cost and it's, well, really cool. So, should we do it? Never. I'll say that again, never. Broadcasting our existence outside of our solar system, especially with methods like this, which could reach a large fraction of our galaxy, would be one of the most irresponsible and short-sighted acts our already misguided and self-destructive species could ever commit. Once the galaxy at large knows we are here, there is no going back. Maybe aliens are all perfectly nice. Maybe they could even raise up our society to new utopian aids, because that always goes well. But maybe they are not. For example, Stephen Hawking was one of many prominent thinkers who was warned that reaching out to extraterrestrial civilizations could be dangerous and even irresponsible. Imagine a colony of mice living a fairy tale life in the boughs of a tree, hidden from and untroubled by predators. Then imagine one of them works out how to poke a flag up through the foliage with a picture of a mouse and an arrow pointing down. Imagine a little later a much smaller colony of well-fed and slightly red-flecked owls living in that same tree. Aliens are not necessarily bears, in that they may be much less scared of us than we are of them. They may not be out there at all. Life may be so sparsely littered across the cosmos that this is all a moot point. And they might all be lovely and huggable if you can, don't mind all the extra arms. But space is the unknown. What populates it is nigh on unguessable and as exciting as it is to have the tools to unlock a door doesn't always mean you should. Whether we should actively hide ourselves is a more difficult question, with no easy answer. But when the means to expose the many could rest in the hands of the few, be they grand humanitarians, celebrated scientists or just over eager enthusiasts, shining a light could be a very dangerous proposition. 
And you, what do you think of all this? Would it be a good idea to guide aliens to Earth? I hope you enjoyed this video. While waiting for the next video, you can find me on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Please like, share, subscribe, support Section 51. I'll be back really soon. Open your eyes.